So this is Furia Beach just um, west of Ventura uh, along the Rincon and the start of the Rincon Coast. And it's a good illustration of what the fire did uh, last night and into this morning, December 7th. Uh, it really came down the canyons, came through a lot of the uh, uh, small <clears throat> uh, 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 slot canyons, came over, hit the coastal strand and really burned that. Firefighters have mostly been hanging out uh, next to the, uh, protecting structures and in this case so it's a real good example right here in the Furia Beach area of the the literal coastal zone right really on the strip of land so right here um, the, they've held it at the train tracks trains have been halted right now but you can really see uh, how thin these folks are right on the coast we normally think of that in terms of the the ocean and uh, stuff associated with the, the sea but in this case it's the danger from land-based fire in both cases, these these establishments, these these developments along the coast are incredibly uh, tenuous, incredibly on the edge, and there's something we have to manage more and more in this era of climate change and change management regimes across California and actually across the world. You are not familiar with uh, Faria Beach, Bob Marla. Good Thursday afternoon. This is a stretch of coastline as you make your way up from Ventura towards Santa Barbara. You have uh, Highway 101, which is moving there, at least partially. We have a couple lanes uh, blocked, and we have PCH on the left, and then that beachside community, Faria Beach. And those homes down below there are on Pacific Coast Highway, which is immediately south or west of Highway 101. Strike teams uh, on the scene here. Most of this is vegetation that's burning, but it looks like uh, one facility, one yard, uh, there's some, uh, some things that are on fire there as well. We can't quite make out what that is. If it's a storage area, you can see there is a trailer there as well. But most of what we're seeing uh, is uh, vegetation that is burning. Water has been an issue here. We've been reporting on that with the Thomas fire here. Now on the fourth day, this is the far western flank of the fire. Again, the amount of real estate that this fire has covered is just tremendous as we approach 100,000 acres. It's a 25 mile stretch. We flew from the western flank here, just south of Carpinteria, all the way to a point halfway between Santa Paula and Fillmore, just north of the 126. This community, Faria Beach, is six miles north of the city of Ventura. Now, they were holding all traffic. That's the north side of the 101 on the right side. That's the side coming up from Ventura towards Santa Barbara, but they just released traffic there because they're getting a handle on the vegetation that's burning on the north side of the freeway. Southbound lanes have been open. Traffic is moving. They've had periodic closures here, Bob and Marla, of the 101. And even though it's been open at times, I've been advised, and we're going to continue to pan the camera to the right and show you the immense backup. Do not take the stretch of the 101. Even if you hear it's open for a time, there's another hot spot down below there that they're going to have to deal with, and they may have to close those southbound lanes. Again, strike teams are on PCH. That's the main line, the road to immediately south of uh, Highway 101. Don't take this at all unless you absolutely have to. Avoid traveling through this area. You can take Interstate 5. It's a long way around. You'd have to take it up through Gorman, the Ridge Route, to the Grapevine, towards the San Joaquin Valley, and connect in Kern County with Highway 166. That will redirect you towards the Central Coast and the 101. Look at the backup. That's the northbound side if you want to take it. Coming out of Ventura, it is just jammed heading up from Ventura up to Santa Barbara. Reporting live from Skybox, I'm Rick Dicker, back in the